Hello everybody, it's me, Espeon Plays Games. I am back, making another video. It's been, oh jeez, it's been quite a long time since I've recorded anything, honestly. I've been so busy with uh, school and just living through the pandemic and stuff like that. So like, yeah, I decided to come into, I decided to come into PC building simulator just to have a chill, chill little video. It's currently like 5:30 in the morning here. I'm just making a video for the hell of it. But yeah. Uh, why don't we make ourselves one of the coolest computers ever? So for case, I had a slight idea for a case today. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, here, I'll, I'll pause till I find the case, guys. Okay, so this is the case that we'll be using. It's a Corsair ICUE 220T. We're going to be using the black version today. And for this one, well, we're going to start off by taking out the panels. Or 20 mils. I'm probably thinking about water cooling this guy. But yeah, let's get into this. I'm just gonna turn up my brightness a bit. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, let's just start a power supply for the hell of it. We're gonna try going for an all Corsair, like an all Corsair build. Um, I would put this guy in, but apparently it doesn't fit. So, why not? Let's do the Corsair RM1000X. Let's just remove the drive cage for now until we're done. How's that? I'm not actually sure what that is. Motherboard. Well, obviously, there's no Corsair. Um, I'm thinking about making this like a bomb ass gaming rig. I'm gonna need a pretty good, uh, pretty good board. Okay, I'm just gonna like poke around here till I find something kind of good. Let's go socket. 2066. Incompatible. Oh, okay. Uh, let's do the MSI MEG. MEG uh, 570, I think it said. Yeah, the 570 godlike. Three drive bays. So, let's go in here and let's get ourselves some. Oh, wrong memory. Let's get some M.2s. Oh, that's since the last time I played, it's been different stuff added in. Let's just go out. Let's just go balls out. Let's go. Three, three two terabyte M.2 drives from ADATA. For CPU, we're gonna go Ryzen, obviously.
Let's go socket AM4. Go Ryzen 9 16 core 5950X. Close that down. I wish I could zoom in more, but I can't. Oh, I thought that was another drive, but I was gonna say, wow, really? <laughs> For memory, again, we're gonna go with some pretty baller ass memory might go for some G skill Actually, let's go. we're gonna go with HyperX Fury DDR4 32 gig RAM at 3600 megahertz this is gonna give us a ton of RAM way more than we'll actually need but this is a video game so we can do whatever we want Put some random thermal paste on um i think for this build i might actually go water cooling let's take out these fans got some water cooling reservoirs Let's even go. <laughs> no, that's a weird water cooling mount. Oh, it's that for everything. Well, we'll go with this guy for the for the video. Radiator. I'm gonna go for a Corsair. Triple fan. I want to find. Oh, they don't have RGB on, really. Well, let's go for this one. CPU blocks. Let's go with a nice RGB. We'll go with the same brand as the radiator just to match. I hmm, we could go water cooling on our GPU as well. Uh, chipset. with the PCI covers. I got some pipe ops. Um, sure, let's go with the RGB ones. Here. 
coolant. Let's kind of make this like a nice green. Oh, well, we have to fill it up first, apparently. I forgot about that, my bad. Um, I know I technically don't need any storage. But I will. I'll add some storage. Let's get some more case fans if we can, just a heck of it. Let's find some coarser. Get some coarser fans. We won't get any coarser friends because we actually can't fit anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll do SSD anyway, so that's fine. Type SSD. Coarser. Sorry, if you keep in here like a bang and sound, that's me accidentally getting my cable caught from my headset. Get some coolant in it. Wait for the fill. While it's filling, I'll put on, I guess, the rest of the parts. Dust filter on. Other dust filter on. That on. Top panel. Get the drive in. Let's go to the BIOS first. Okay, it's on the proper boot device. XMP goes 3600 max. Let's try going 4000 on the RAM. Let's download some apps. <laughs> Well, I didn't mean to click that one. Oh, wow. Uh, I think that's probably good. Let's go to reboot. And change up the RGB to be some nice green. Oops. Select all lights. Take a look at it in dark. Looks kind of pretty cool, guys. Let's just see how our temps are. Let's throw it to an infinite. They're pretty toasty, but they're not too, too bad. 80 on the CPU on at load, that's not too bad, saying that it's being water-cooled. Not the best way, but 
In this game, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, turn that off. Actually, we're going to turn it on. We're going to go here. Infinite turn on. Core voltage 100%. Wait for it to get up to temp. This is how I do the overclocking in this game. You get whatever your temps are, and then you just clock the fuck out of it until you see the temp getting too high. Try to go 1900 each. Actually, there's still room. Let's go 1940. I know there's a proper way to do this overclocking, like, oh, you do one less than the other or whatever, but I not really don't know really much about that. It's actually still room for improvement, but we'll see that's good for now. Let's do a 3D mark test of what we got so far. And we can also update the peripherals. I don't know, let's throw on some... with an RGB on it. I don't think they have an MSI thing. Oh, they do have MSI. Sure, I'll take it. We'll fix the colors later. Wow. Look at the FPS, guys. 147. It's not the most powerful build, I will admit. I can definitely get better uh, graphics cards. 23,175. Let's uh, power down. I'm gonna try overclocking the RAM some more. Let's try five gigahertz on the gigahertz overclock on the uh, CPU and see if that works. Was that, was that a blue screen? I think it was. Yep, okay. Now, is that the CPU or is that the uh, the RAM being over? No. I don't know if that was the RAM that maybe is too overclocked. Okay, maybe let's... Let's knock the CPU back down to stock. If it crashes again, I need to lower the, the RAM. I bet it will crash anyways, so... Okay, so the RAM is too high. That's not a big issue. Let's try that. I feel like the RAM get higher than 400... Uh, 
for gigs. Really? This game is very touchy. Let's just keep it at that. Let's bump up. I want to get 5 gigahertz on the CPU. That'd be kind of cool. Oh my god, really? Why is everything so touchy in this stupid game? Like, I know in real life you can't do certain things, but, like, pretty sure you can overclock the CPU a tiny bit and not have the whole computer crash on you. It should be stable now. This is stock. Yeah. Well, I think that's pretty good. That's... Let's change all the RGB to green so we have a nice keyboard and all that. Well, if you guys enjoyed this little video, please leave it like down below. Comment on what computer you might like me to build next time, guys. And well, next time I next time I'm in the mood for uh, gaming and recording, I'll uh, make another video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day.